everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally sharing with you my long awaited tanning routine. I finally got it to a place where I've stuck with like the same routine for probably I'd say about five or six months and it's time to share. Today's video is very excitingly sponsored by Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez are my tan brand of choice and have been for about three or four years. So this is very exciting and very appropriate. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips and tricks, my before and afters, my actual routine, and just all of the products that I use to achieve my tan, which I've obviously got on right now. So let's start with the prep. Now this changes, it depends what I'm tanning for, so maybe I'm tanning for like an event that I've got, or maybe I'm going on holiday, or maybe I want to look like I have just got back from holiday and I want that, you know, specific, really tanned, really natural glow. So that is what I'm going to be showing today, and like, I mean, the actual tanning routine is the same, it's just the prep that's slightly different. So this prep step that I do is a bit rogue, and you definitely don't have to do this, but it gives you that like just stepped off the plain tan because essentially we're trying to recreate what the sun does to your skin and your body and something that the sun does is it bleaches your arm hairs. So I, step one, if I want to look like I've just stepped off the plane, I will bleach my arm hairs. I haven't seen anyone else talk about doing this in a tanning routine but it genuinely makes like the most difference. I mean, can you see? Like it, honestly, as someone with dark hair, it really makes such a difference. So I just grab any bleach, you can get them anywhere, they're really affordable, and I will bleach my arm hairs. Now I do this first, if you like apply tan afterwards, it doesn't like dye your hair or anything like that. But yeah, that is step one for me, I just apply it as per the instructions. And then I move on to my in shower prep. Now I'm definitely an evening tanner, I don't know how you can tan in the morning or wear the tan throughout the day, it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. So the majority of my prep is done in the shower. So firstly, I like to exfoliate. Now I use a couple of different products for this. I love a good exfoliating glove and I also love this. So this is the Prep and Maintain from Saint Tropez. Now this is great because it doesn't have any chemicals in it that are going to then interfere with your tan, which is key because a lot of kind of body scrubs that you kind of get generally have maybe fragrance or something in them that can react with your tan. So yeah, I like to use this, which is more of like a, a polish exfoliator, or I'll use my exfoliating gloves and just focus on the areas that get drier, so like your elbows, ankles, your wrists, and for me it makes such a massive difference. Step two of the shower prep is of course shaving. Now I just shave as normal, I like to do my kind of shower prep at least two hours before I apply the tan, but if you don't have that amount of time, an amazing tip that I was taught is to, when you have shaved, you finish doing everything, turn your shower as cold as it can go and just run that all over the areas where you shaved and it will help to close up your pores. And it really does work. So that is pretty much all of the prep that I will do, but just one thing to note, when I do get out of the shower, I will not put any creams, any product, any deodorant, nothing like that on my body. It will be a completely blank canvas for the tan. And then we move on to the actual tan. So I have tried a countless amount of tans. And like I said, my current routine, I've had the same for probably about six months. And the tan that I've been using is the Lux Whipped Creme Mousse from Saint Tropez. If you've not seen the campaign for this, Ashley Graham is the face of this product. She is fabulous. The tan is fabulous. So I just apply this like you would any other tan, but because it is a whipped formula, it's super easy to apply. This is really fast drying, so there's none of that kind of waiting for it to dry. It's not sticky. I like to apply this all over, I'll rub it in in circular motions. It does dry super fast, but it's not to the point where as soon as you put it on your skin, it stains your skin and you can't move it. Like it's a very easy to apply product. I've never had streaking or anything. And this is so hydrating. So it's got hyaluronic acid in it and a bunch of other things. But for me, the hyaluronic acid makes such a difference. My skin is never kind of dry in the morning. Nothing clings to it. I can, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I can vouch that this doesn't run if you, <laughs> if you sweat in it. I, I maybe might have applied this and worked out in the evenings a few times before and it's absolutely 
fine. This also has never ever gotten onto my bed sheets, which is a massive tick for me. Like I said, I am without a doubt an evening tanner. I cannot walk around in the daytime with a, like a developing tan. So you can leave this for as little as four hours and wash it off and it will still keep developing. Something about my tanning routine though that I feel very proud of is I'm a very independent tanner. So I will never have anyone to tan my back. So I'm gonna share with you my little tips and tricks for tanning your back because there is ways to do it. So firstly, have your mitt on one hand, you reach your hand over your shoulder onto your back and then with your other hand you push your elbow to push your hand further down your back and then you kind of swipe with the glove and then you put your hand under your arm, again, you push your elbow with your other hand and swipe and you kind of repeat this from every angle with both arms and I'm telling you, you will be able to get every inch of your back without needing anyone else to help you like tan your back and it was just the most brilliant feeling knowing you can do it all on your own. So I apply this all over my body and then when it comes to kind of the trickier bits like my hands, my ankles, my wrists, I like to add another product in. So this is the Tan Enhancing Moisturiser from Saint Tropez. So I will just pop this on my hands and kind of rub it on any areas that tan may stick or may be drier or harder to kind of apply and then I'll go over with my mitt and what, whatever kind of residue is left I'll rub on and you just get the most kind of seamless tan. None of those kind of, you know, lines, none of the weird bits between fingers. This is an amazing trick. And then when it comes to my face, I actually do like the Luxe Whip Creme Mousse on my face. Because of the hyaluronic acid, it doesn't cling to kind of blemishes or anything. But my absolute favourite product is this. So this is the Purity Bronzing Water. I've been using this for, I'd say, longer than the this kind of routine. Maybe, maybe about a year? So I am always tanning my face. I'm a very keen facial tanner. I feel like it gives me a glow and I have been through them. If you've followed me, you know I've had favorites throughout the years. But this is just the most fuss-free, simple product. You don't need any tools or brushes to apply it. You literally spritz it on. It smells like coconut, which I adore. And the ingredients are really kind to your skin. So again, there is hyaluronic acid in this. So instead of waking up with like a, you'll know what I mean if you put tan on your face, like a tight kind of feeling in the morning you don't get any of that your face feels super plump you can also apply this over makeup under makeup or over your skincare routine under your skincare routine at night I tend to apply this over my night oil it's just part of my kind of every every night routine well every other night I'd probably say I do it step and yeah this is just one of those products that I never ever ever want to lose from my routine I travel everywhere with this like I can do without a body tan you know I'm not one of those people that feels like they have to fake tan all the time however this is a different story this is always with me so I feel like it wouldn't be a true tanning routine if I didn't show you the before and after so this is what my skin looked like before I had absolutely no tan on I was completely bare of any tanning products and then this is what I look like in the morning when I had just washed the tan off so as you can see it is a really even glow the color is brilliant and yeah I feel like for me this routine is just perfect I cannot fault it the products work great with my skin I love the result it's super quick and efficient and yeah I thought today was the day to share it with you so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up everything that I use and a little summary of what I do will be in the description box so you don't have to watch this video over and over again if you would like to give it a go it will be down there in writing but thank you for taking the time to watch and I will see you so very soon bye